to thank God for today. And uh, he has been very faithful. He has taken us through along this Bible journey. And today, I want to do the introduction of the book of Titus. And we thank God that he has been gracious to us. The book of Titus is among the, the three books that we said they are also known as pastoral letters. They were written by Paul and Titus received this letter as one of his disciples and a trainee to be instructed in the sound doctrine and also the truth so that he may be able to counter the false teachings that were going around the churches that he was to be sent so that he may be the overseer. Titus is referred to Paul as my true son in common faith in chapter 1 and verses 4. And the things that we know about Titus is that he was a Greek believer and probably he was converted at Antioch in Syria through Paul's ministry. At one time, he accompanied Paul and Barnabas to Jerusalem during the Elders Council as a testimony of God's work to the Gentiles. This you read in Galatians 2, verses 1 to 3, and Galatians 2, verses 16. He was Paul's companion in ministry, and Paul also refers to him as a close friend, and we see that he was also a special ambassador in different churches to put them in order, and this is found in 2 Corinthians 7, verses 5 to 16, and it also shows us that Titus was a mature believer as he was sent to Crete as an overseer of those churches in chapter 1 and verses 5. The purpose of this letter was to instruct and also to encourage him as a good leader. The key verse of the book of Titus is chapter 1 and verses 5. And uh, the outline is number 1, the introduction of the book, which is in chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. Number 2, instructions to Titus, which is from chapter 1, verses 5 to chapter 3, verses 11. And in these instructions, there are four areas that he was instructed on. A, about the churches, which is in chapter 1, verses 5 to verses 16. B, about individuals, which is in chapter 2, verses 1 to verses 15. C, about the world, which is in chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. And D, about false beliefs, which is in chapter 3, verses 9 to 11. And then we get number three to the conclusion of the book, which is in chapter three, verses 12 to 15. As we read this book, the, 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 I believe that you'll get new insights and uh, the main insight of this book is the vision in mentorship. And we see in the relationship of Paul and Titus, that in mentorship, one has to be a companion. And not only a companion, but a close friend. This enables the, 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 the mentorship to take the disciple to the position of maturity 
and a follower and at the end of the day a good leader. So I add up this introduction by asking you whom are you mentoring in faith and who is your mentee in faith. Also, another key insight is that a leader should be an example of good character and of good works. And I want to believe that by the end of the book of Titus, each one of us will take their position of leadership. Shalom, and may the Lord God help you as you continue along this Bible.